All right. Sorry about that, you all. Uh, it took me a while because I had something set up earlier, and then when I tried to do a test on it, all of a sudden uh, the test worked great. But then when I exit out of it or stop the stream, then I lost the setting I originally had. So I'm streaming the way I want to stream, but I'm not streaming to the save scheduled stream that I had. So hopefully you're still able to see this on um, YouTube and and I'm going to pull it up real quick just to make sure that I am getting what I need. So if you hear some echo, I apologize for that. Just want to make sure that this is up. Just want to make sure this is up. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's up. I'm going to have to go back in later on and actually change the image for this because some reason it came up with the wrong image. Or maybe I can change it while I'm in here. Maybe. Edit. Customization. There we go. Put this under... Here we go. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, there it is. All right. Gotta love technology. Okay, thumbnail I'm looking for is right here. Okay. All the details are correct. Save that. All right. Everything looks good. All right. Well, welcome. Hey, you all. This is Justin Norm. It's been a while since I went live, but I'm trying to make a habit of doing this at least once a month, at least once a month, hopefully sometimes more than that. Uh, but I wanted to get on here and definitely uh, talk about Cakewalk, talk about some new things that are going on, too, as well. There are some new updates to me as a content creator, um, and I just wanted to share those. I was going to make another video about it, and I might do that another time, but I didn't get a chance to do it today. Uh, expect some more videos because I'm going to definitely make another Cakewalk video that I'll upload separately from this live video, and hopefully I'll upload that today. Um, summertime is approaching, and I'm getting close to being able to really work on things and really answer a lot of questions. Sorry if you keep seeing me look at my screen. I was trying to get something off my screen, and I don't know why I was on there. But uh, if you happen to come into the room, or not the room, if you happen to join the stream, definitely let me know that you're here in the comments. Uh, I am using Restream today, which is why it, it took me a little while to get things figured out. I use Restream quite a bit, but for some reason, sometimes it's always something that I don't have set up right. So I want to make sure that it is right. If you happen to come in the stream and you're listening to me now, definitely let me know whether or not you can hear everything. Um, I apologize for not getting on exactly at 930 like I said I was going to be getting on. Uh, but I'm I'm glad that if you happen to tune in that you're here, I know you all are going to be looking like, wow, this dude had like 20 different videos So, <laughs> because I went live three times, but they all lasted like one minute. So, well, this is the things that I have to work out to make sure that this stuff is good to go. And I thought I did it early enough, but I should have just kept the stream going instead of canceling it the first time. Because that one actually had 12 views on it. So, but anyway, hopefully you find this one and then you're good to go. Uh, but if you don't find it, oh well. Uh, I'm in the room and the whole goal today is to answer some questions on Cakewalk by Band Lab. This is going to be a little different stream uh, because I'm going to actually be trying to go back to questions that I've seen in the past. Uh, because I normally keep a little notepad right here. And notice I don't even, I'm not even dealing with my green screen. I'm not going to do anything with that. I'm just going to 
keep it raw just like it is. Uh, so excuse me for some of the dirt spots in the back here. And hopefully the lighting's okay because I have a few different lights, but I don't want it to be too bright. So uh, I have some questions that we're going to go through and we're continuing in Cakewalk with the song or with the beat, I guess, that I started making for my last answering questions in Cakewalk video, which was, uh, I think, about a month ago, I believe. I've been longer than that. I can't remember. So here we go. Let's get right into it. But before we get into all of that... Uh, definitely, if you happen to enjoy content that talks about digital audio workstations or learning Cakewalk by Band Lab, or learning about production or learning about songwriting, any of those things, make sure that you definitely subscribe to the channel. If you happen to tune in, we're going to get right into it. And make sure if you have questions, definitely post your questions. I got the little music room in here. And man, I saw your messages earlier and I was like, Oh, this message is already. So I got to go back and look at those videos. But I know one of the main questions uh, that was being asked was about delay, about delay. So we're going to get into talking about delay. Uh, still work. Okay. Biking, home listening. Could you tell me when I have made. Okay, I'm going to put this up here so people can see. Uh, yep. Yeah, so still at work was biking home listening could you tell me when i have made a sample say finger snap how to copy paste that easy okay how to make a sample okay all right we'll, we'll talk about that let me get into it set up two live streams no it's actually only one live stream but um so the very first time I went live, it was a test. And you can hear me on there saying, oh, just test it, make sure that it works right. Well, it was working right, and I should have just left it on. But then I closed that one. And then, oh, yeah, you you might be looking at me in Facebook, too, because I, I, I'm i in our Facebook group. So I am going live in Facebook group as well. At least I think I am. I might be. I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, I'm running in two different places. Uh, I could have ran in like four, five, six different places, but I was just trying to keep it to YouTube and to the YouTube Facebook group. Speaking of the YouTube Facebook group, um, I need to show that. So let's go to uh, Facebook and pull that up. Because we have a Facebook group and uh, Little Music Room was my first person to join. I think there's three total now excluding me and there's four with me <laughs> so it's a small community that we're growing um but let me show this real quick all right and you might have heard the door shut because my wife just left to go to work and i'm actually off today which is a miracle all right let's see if i got this right okay now my buttons are not working right all right let's switch it there this is so weird anyway some of my buttons are not working right i don't know it's like i can't i'm trying to combine both of these but for some reason they're not working like i need them to all right i'm gonna worry about it right now but anyway Okay, that's cool, man. Be safe, you know, you know, definitely be safe. Take your time getting home. All right, so uh, we got a Facebook group called Just a Normie and Musician Tips for YouTuber group. So if you are interested in joining that, uh, the link for it is in the description below. Um, you know, it's just a community basically can come and, you know, ask questions or post things. I'm really getting um, into wanting to listen to you all's projects. Uh, some people are very skeptical, not skeptical, but fearful of, you know, having someone listen to their work. But just know that even though I share information about Cakewalk, our production, I can't knock anybody for your creativity. So if you come up with something and it's your own and you actually, you know, want me to listen to it, I'm not going to knock you for the production or anything like that. I'll give you maybe a few tips like, okay, this is what I would do. But once again, everything 
in music is opinionative. So I can tell you, hey, I didn't really like the chord that you played. Or I can say, I think the drums were a little bit too loud. Everything related to this stuff is opinionative. Uh, so take it with a grain of salt. You know, don't don't think that I'm trying to, you know, be real critical. I'm not that type of person. I can be, but I'm not. Um, and stop, hey, stop by. Okay. All right. Hey, man, just stop by quickly. Say hi from Reddit. Hey, what's up, David? Well, welcome, welcome. I love Reddit. You know, it's crazy because I just discovered Reddit. Um, I don't know. I heard about it for two or three years, but I actually didn't get on there until probably like it's been almost a year now, I think, that I've been on there. And it's just crazy. Like, I, you know, there's so many different platforms that I'm still getting used to being on. But I really like Reddit. Uh, I like getting on there and answering questions. I like reading questions, too. And I just like, you know, it's it's great to have a community like that, just sharing those thoughts. So thank you for just stopping in, you know. Awesome. All right. Uh, the Little Music Room says, when using reverb delay, do you exactly use a calculator? You can use a calculator. Um, it just depends on how analytical you want to get. I'm a person that believes in the ear factor. It's what you hear. It's how your ears perceive what you want to hear. Uh, now, the big difference between listening to something on the headphones and listening to something on your car stereo or your boombox or, or wherever you're listening to it, it the sound is always going to change. It's always going to sound a little different. Uh, but if you can get it mixed you know, and you can get your effects right where they sound good in any platform to you. You know, you want it to be audible, but you don't want it to be overbearing. Um, so I would say use your ears. Once you get more comfortable with, you know, learning, you know, exactly, you know, what percentage to do. And we'll get into that. Let me let me get into Cakewalk. Um, let me get into Cakewalk and I'll come back to some of these questions. Uh, and it's, yeah, man, no problem. Red a cake while committing is small, but growing. Definitely. Yeah, it definitely is growing. Um, I'm surprised that sometimes there's not that many people on there, but there's so many people that don't know about cakewalk yet, even though cakewalk has been around for a long time, you all, but, uh, there's still many that don't know about it. Now I can understand if you don't know about it, because if you're a Mac user, you won't know about it because it hasn't went to Mac yet. I don't know if it's going to ever happen or not, but maybe, maybe one day. All right. I'm trying to see if I can get both of my screens up because I had them both up earlier. But now when I click on my buttons, they're not doing anything. Let's see. Shift four. Three. All right. Yeah. Hey, you got to get on Reddit uh, because that's like, I mean, questions post every day. So, yeah, I'll, I'll put... um the the reddit group down below i mean it's not my group but you know you can definitely join there and post questions that you may have and like i said i don't know everything you all i don't even wish i knew everything because if i knew everything i probably would go insane because it's like every single question that came my way i just know the answer to it and and that that would it wouldn't be fun i wouldn't have to search for anything um so so you're not in the, in the mod or anything yeah okay Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not either. I thought about joining, I mean, creating my own group over there in Reddit, uh, my own community, uh, I guess. Yeah. But like I said, it's still a lot that I don't know. Like you can go live on there and I guess you have to have so much what's called karma, basically. Um, I don't see the option to go live. Maybe it pops up later on. I don't know. It's still a lot. I don't know about Reddit, but all I know is that I go on there. I'm on there for Adobe software because I'm a digital artist as well. So I do a lot of drawing. So I'm on there answering questions for that or reading up on questions. Um, I do stuff, you know, for us production wise, I go in there and try to look at some stuff, but I spend most of my time in cakewalk. <laughs> I don't know why. I think I love the, so the software or something. It's a, it's a great program. I think I love it. All right. Uh, let me let me let me do this. And I guess it's going to be today that I had all this stuff set up earlier. Correctly. It was right. It was looking good. But now here, let me see if I turn my camera off and turn it back on. If I'm able to do what I need to do. 
Let's do this. Okay, there we go. Now it's working. There we go. All right, this is what I was trying to do like earlier, but that didn't work like I wanted it to. All right, let's get into Cakewalk so we can answer some of these questions. And then I'll come back to this other stuff that I want to share with you. All right. So here's a project that we had before, and this is called Live Beat 001 because it's the first of many. Now, um, the whole process of this is because I'm going to do these live streams. I'm not working on these songs or beats or anything until I get back on live so you can see exactly what I'm going to be doing as I do it. Um, I don't know what this song is going to become. A lot of times I create these projects just for these videos and I may never finish the song. So <laughs> I need to start doing it, but here's what it sounds like. And hopefully you can hear it. Okay. And basically what I did is I just took a, a loop, um, basically a pattern from over here and I've got a whole series of videos talking about little drum patterns that you can use so um, I'll make sure I put that in the description below if you need to watch it but it's a lot of cool hitting patterns within here and then the bass line I just created using the SI bass guitar um, which is weird because oh yeah sorry I was gonna right at the end of the last video it started off with me like doing this process of recording this and then it got into answering a whole lot of questions um, so I remember I was supposed to be doing a guitar part when I left. So keep in mind, Cakewalk does not come with a guitar, but something that you can do is you can take a, well, of course you can use TTIS, which does has guitar, but you can take a SI bass guitar and you can play some muted parts if I want to do. Then I can go in there and change and alter it and, um, like, you know, make it sound more like a guitar. If I wanted to, I can add some of the the effects on there because we also have the T. Well, I always forget the name of it. Yeah, don't uh, don't quote me on this. I, guitar there. It's the TH3. I was like, I, I was about to say THX, TH, well, what is it called? Yeah, so I can apply these to make it sound more like a guitar. Uh, I can also... So say, for instance, this is, I'm playing FGB flat, but I can pitch this up um, to make it sound like, because on this particular guitar, it only goes up to E natural. So when I click on it, that's it, you know, which would be at the very top fret. Um, so I could tune this up, which I did before. Actually, I actually have it tuned up now because originally, it was here okay so it's that's e but when i tuned it up it's like a fifth up i guess close to the fifth let me bring my piano up okay actually it's a tritone right so it's a b flat now so even though i'm playing e which is where i'm playing e on the keyboard but it sounds like a B flat. So, um, but that can help me get those higher tones that I needed. I can play around with that. I mean, that's if I decide to do something. Um, this whole process is just, you know, going as I go. Because when I get into uh, blah, 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 blah. when I get in production mode, I'm not really thinking about uh, what what am I going to do. I just do it, you know. And then this stuff comes to me. It just comes to me, basically. All right. Um, let me get into talking about the delay, so I can answer your questions. Uh, about delay. Let's say I want to put a keyboard on here. And let's put um, 
the SI, but even though this has chorus and tremolo on it, I'll make sure all of these are turned off. I'll just use the default sound for now. All right. Um, I don't even remember what key this song is in, actually. Cause it's another song that I just did on another video. All right, maybe I'll do something like that. All right, so let's say I've got it. Let's say that that is the keyboard part that I wanted. Okay. All right. And let's do, should I quantize it? We'll find out. Let's see if it, I know this is going to change a whole lot of stuff. leave it as is. All right, so uh, let's say that I wanted to add delay to this. So let's do SI. And we got tempo delay too as well. I'm used to night as delay. My phone is like vibrating so much. So many people are calling. Uh, you mean, oh, you, are you, uh, <laughs> you said um, it sounds a bit Asian. You mean with guitar? Are you talking about delay for the guitar? Is that what you mean? Is that what you mean? I think you mean with the guitar. Okay. Yeah, I can show it with the guitar. Or are you talking about the Asian sound for the guitar that I was using earlier with the with the bass? Maybe. I don't know. This is the only thing that I kind of uh, don't like about talking to people via chat. It's like, you know, I'm, I'm waiting for a response. When are you gonna? When are you gonna reply? <laughs> so I'm so used to talking to people on the phone um, or talking to people in person. So it'd be great if this was like a Zoom conversation and everybody can get on. You know, some of you all can get in. You know, it, it, would anybody like to come in and, um, you know, a little music? I know when you get home, you'll 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 be good. But if you want to get in, I, I might send you a link and then you can, uh, I think I can invite you. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Nope. I guess I don't see that option on there. Oh, I can reply. Oh, I can type. I'm typing something. <laughs> hey. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, y'all done messed up now. Can't post messages to some channels. Okay. I just realized that I can actually type. That's what I was looking for before. I was wondering if I could type because I'd like to type faster too as well. Okay. With the guitar. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that was, yeah, it did sound kind of like that basically. Uh, it's like a muted guitar, uh, mixed pizzicato string, muted guitar effect basically. Somewhat. Um, all right, so let's say I'm putting delay on this this piano. All right. Uh, of course, cool small steps. Yeah, I know. That's exciting. Um, of course, there are a bunch of presets that come with this. All right, but let's say I don't want to use the presets. Hopefully, you all can see this good. I can't do no effects on here and, like, zoom in. It'd be nice if you can zoom in. Well... See, only thing about this is it doesn't make it bigger. Oh, well. All right. Um, so let's say, for instance, let's start with the factor. So the factor is going to be the timing of how the delay occurs, basically. Um, or let me say the, um, the, the, the times that 
the delay occurs. So if it's set on one, it's set to a quarter note. So if I got bling, bling, if I'm going one, so if that's my quarter note, that would be exactly where my delay would be. All right. Um, the feedback, and I'm going to tell you like two of these options. The feedback is exactly how long you want it to delay before it cuts off, basically. Uh, so if I, I'm just going to start with everything being zero so you can kind of hear the difference of what's what. If I want to listen to a tempo sync, uh, it's set on manually right now. This is cool if you're going for a certain type of tempo uh, that you want your delay to be at. But I can put it on host, and then if I play... It'll set it to whatever it is. Now, in this case, this case, I'm already at 120, so it's already in the right place anyway. Um, you got the frequencies. You know, sometimes you may want to roll off in certain areas, but let's just hear. Let's solo this keyboard. All right. So right now we hear nothing, right? But when I put the mix in. Okay. <laughs> that sounds so crazy. All right, uh, and then let's let's put it on loop. Okay, you can tell that when I add the feedback in, that it's like the delay is never ending. But meanwhile, I'm still playing other notes. Okay, crossfeed deals with like how the delay and the cutoff crossover. When I normally use delay, I don't even use. Well, I use this a little, a little bit. I don't really use that much, but uh, let's change it. So now, if I choose two, of course, it's a half note. If I choose a half, this is going to be like an eighth note. And if you want the stereo effect, you can move it back and forth. Can't you say? Can't you say if the tempo of a song is high, better? If the, oh, if the tempo of the song is fast, put less reverb. I think that's what you're trying to say. Or I think that's what I think you're trying to say. <laughs> yeah, if, um, well, it's like this. When it's a faster song, it's more energetic. Okay, first of all, if you put too much reverb, it's going to get in the way of whatever you're singing or whatever you're playing. But on slower songs, you got more gap. Like if I was singing a song and I'm like, -da 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 -da. you know, you got all this space in between. So the reverb is kind of what helps it. Like it, it makes it uh, fit better in the mix. Whereas when things are fast, if I was going better deep, ba -ba -bee -ba -ba -dee -doop, you know, so you don't have a lot of time to put a lot of reverb on there because then it'll sound really crazy. Uh, yeah. The, yeah. So the ballad, the ballad and it's it's really it's like the sweet factor. Right. You know, you can there's many songs that are slow that don't have reverb on them. Uh, just depends on what you're going for. If you're going for more of a dry, uh, like a lot of pop today, it's more like present. The vocals are right in your face and there's not a lot of reverb or if it's if there is reverb, it's tapered or it's uh, on the tail end, basically, which means that the reverb doesn't it doesn't kick in until after the accent, after the words have already been saying, then you hear the reverb on the very end of it, whereas you can put it on the whole entire um, wave. And now it's from the very beginning. As soon as you say something, the reverb is there. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's a good question. Very good questions. I like that. So, yeah, so I've got this. Now I've got it at half. Okay. And maybe... I don't want that. Maybe I want a 16th notes. And now that's cool if you if you play with the left and right, you can make more of a stereo effect. So you're going to notice that the smaller I get, 
the more it's going to sound like chorus um, where you don't really hear the delay as much. Okay, yeah, and that's even cutting it off some. Or I can go the opposite. Okay, and I got this. I'm turning this off. I mean, that was, that's now that's a hot effect though. If I wanted it that way. So now it's like with the delay, I've almost created two piano parts, right? You got the ling, ling, you know, then even though I played it like that, but listen to that versus the, like the original. So now I got more space, but when I add the delay in, now it's like the, the rhythm of the chords are moving faster. That's like, you know, call and answer between two keyboard parts. So, I mean, this is amazing things that you can do with that. Now, like that works. Um, now, of course, if I did the feedback uh, more than it would, it wouldn't sound as good. Still sound good, crossfade. Okay, so this is one way to add delay. Um, I'm gonna get to your other questions down there. Uh, this is one way, one way to add delay. But say, for instance, I didn't want to add delay on the whole keyboard. Maybe I wanted to just add it on a certain section. Well, I can do this. I can duplicate this track and include the events in it. Um, and then say I just wanted to, uh, I don't know delay on this tail end right there I can then I can just turn this one off and just put it there um, but maybe I wanted to add another another effect to this maybe I want the delay to be there but I don't want it to be as present so maybe I would adjust EQ on it uh, let's use a pair EQ for now anyway and let's say let's cut some base cut And then I don't need this to be as loud. And let's pan it to the left. So let's see. Right, did I turn it? I turned it off. Sorry. Okay, you can barely, barely, barely hear it. Okay, I don't know if you all can hear that, but it's panned uh, to the left. And actually, I have my headphones on backwards. Whew, that's not a good thing. So I have it panned to the to the left, uh, but it's ever so slightly. And you could do this with vocals, too, as well. Like, say, for instance, if you wanted to just delay one section of it, you can either duplicate the track and do it that way. Uh, I'll remove that. I don't need that. Or you can add it to... A certain section and then I can like highlight this section and then I can go and then I can do like a region effects or well, not region effects but I can do an insert effect or I can do a process effect normally I do process effects uh, more but since this is like MIDI it's not gonna work right now but if I wanted to add um, if I wanted to freeze the track and to make an audio track I can do that as well uh, freeze is right here freeze sense is gonna temporarily make an audio track out of it all right so and then now if i wanted to i can duplicate that audio track bring it down and then i can have the midi archive if i don't need it right now uh but then i can take this part and highlight it 
Okay. And say, then I can go to process and do audio and then do delay that way. I've done that a few ways. Uh, I mean, I've, I've done that a lot of times on my songs. I'll like just take one part and then I want to add delay to it. But what's easier is just to duplicate that section, add delay to that section. And so that way it doesn't tamper with your original track, you know. Okay. Uh, now, let me go back to. <laughs> Did you ever try playing a real piano track and then make combination? Did you ever try playing a real piano track and then make a combination with piano plug-in together with it? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, and I know you, you're you having questions about doing your piano. I wish I had a, like I said, I'm in an apartment. I wish I had a, when I move into a house, we plan on moving the house sometime this year, hopefully. Um, but when I get in there, I'm definitely going to get a piano. Now, but it, like, I mean, I have my digital keyboard here, of course, you know, it's not the same effect. Uh, but if I like say I was playing um, on a acoustic piano, like when I was in college, I, I would always like record stuff in there or, you know, or take my little phone, you know, which I, I didn't even have no iPhone. I don't know what I had. I probably had a little flip phone. then. I don't know what I had then, but I would try to take it and record and then I can always take it back home and mess with it. Um, so, yeah, this is something that you could do. Uh, you use the acoustic piano to give you the acoustic feel, but if it doesn't have the characteristics that you're looking for, like maybe you recorded it with something that wasn't that good, like your cell phone. Nowadays, I, I mean, I can take my iPhone and record with it, and I can really get a good sound with just with the microphone on there. Then I can take it back home, tweak it, you know, uh, compress it, EQ it. Um, so that's, you know, convenient. But I know you were asking about recording with one mic. It doesn't take a lot of microphones to record a piano. It just depends on what you're going for. Typically, you want to use two mics, um, you know, either a pair, spaced out, space pair. If you want to have one on the on the lower register, one on the upper register, that's fine. Or if you want to do X, Y, um, you can do that as well. So which will kind of help you capture the whole entire sound. But I would say if you're going to record with one mic, if it's a condenser mic, great. Uh, condenser omnidirectional mic, great. But if it's a unidirectional mic, whereas it's only going to pick up what's directly in front of the mic, then I would position it to the section where you know you're going to play. Uh, now, if you're doing some Beethoven and Mozart stuff and you're going to be using the whole entire piano, uh, well, then, yeah, you're going to need, you're probably going to need more than one mic. It'll pick it up, but it just won't be as dominant as you want it to be. But if you're doing like, you know, if I'm doing, um, you know, okay, okay, if I'm doing, okay, if I'm doing stuff like that on my keyboard and I'm right here, all within two octaves or basically, or maybe no more than three octaves, I can put that mic right there, position it close to the soundboard. Um, if that's what you're going for, are you close to the strings, depending on whatever sound you're going for. But sometimes, like I said, you can play around with this. Uh, and even if you only have one microphone that you can use, well, tell you what, try using your cell phone to record the other sound. And then you can sync them with each other later on when you get into the software. Yeah. Zoom. Yeah. Zoom makes great mics. Um, so yeah, definitely try using that. Yeah. Then all you gotta do is just, uh, you plug your USB up, you know, transfer that way. Or if it takes an SD card or whatever type of card, you know, just plug it in and then you can bring it in here. So, um, just have fun with it. The good thing about, you know, production and songwriting is that, well, first of all, when you're working on your own music, nobody can tell you what you can and cannot do with your song. You know, it's your song. So, um, and then it's fun to like produce or make your own sounds, uh, which reminds me, somebody asked me a question earlier. Oh, oh yeah. Finger snap. Okay. Uh, a <laughs> little music room. Let's go back to your finger snap, which you put, I think it wasn't in here, but it was in, I think. One of the other streams that I did earlier. So, um, yeah, finger snap. If I'm making a finger snap, um, like say, well, I can do it. Let's just do it now. Maybe I want to do that. Let's do audio. 
Um, I can sample this, and I haven't even talked about sampling, but let's let's bring it up. So um, I have, what do I have in here? I've got a few different samplers in here that don't come with Cakewalk because no samplers come with Cakewalk. Let me see. But you can always get one. Uh, so I got SFZ, got complete control has one. And this video, this one I meant to start talking about, but I never got into talking about it. And the funny thing about it is I downloaded this uh, some months ago. I haven't even really used it like I really want to use it. And that's probably why I haven't made a video about it yet, because I before I start, I make videos as I learn about something. And if I haven't really did anything with it, then I don't really feel like doing it. So um, this is TX16WX, and it is phenomenal on what it can do. Um, so let's see. And if somebody in, is watching this video, they're going to be like, man, you don't know how to use this stuff. I'm like, I'll be like, yeah, I sure don't. Uh, but let me first of all, let me get my audio so I can figure out what I'm going to actually sample. Um, so I can take this. Let's lay off. Let me see. There's one way I can do it. Maybe. I can unfreeze that too. Yep, I didn't do that right. And you should know it. I didn't do that right. Got to make sure that this is set to the right input. And I'm on 12 for this mic. All right. So, all right, so let's say I have that and should be able to, let's say, split this. All right. Question is, did I add it? Okay, waves. I'm used to having two screens up. I do have two screens up, but I'm used to being able to, let's see if I can drag it in like this. Drag this back out. All right, here's a snap. Okay, and of course, got this solo. All right, so I've got the snap in here. I'm, I'm gonna mute this track for now. And I'm, so this is a sampler. Um, <laughs> it is so many things that you can do with this, all right? Okay, and I gotta remember exactly how to change this where it goes so you basically well let me explain what you can do with this all right so with this you can take it and i can apply it to the keyboard my little midi keyboard controller so that way i can pitch it wherever i want now um for the sake of this because i don't remember where to do it at because i haven't used this in a long time um but if i wanted to use this like i gotta find what note it's on though Okay, I haven't applied it to a note. Somebody up there is going to be like, man, you don't know what you're doing. And I'm going to be like, I sure don't. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with this. I really don't. All right. Uh, that's crazy. Well, the good thing is that I do have it. Let's see. Uh. What am I looking for? Regions, waves. Okay. Oh, start. Is this what I'm looking for? Start 113. No, okay, that's right here. Okay, yeah. 
This is the start. This is the end. Okay. Got that part. Tempo, root, that's what I'm looking for, I think. C5. <laughs> Man, I never know what I'm doing. I just come in here and I make stuff up until I figure out what's going on. Yeah, so um, I'm going to play more with this, though. Let's see, loop sampler. Okay, hold on. This might be what we're looking for. This might be it right here. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I'll play with that another time because I don't want to spend that much time on that. That is, well, first of all, it's free. You should definitely download that one. Um, <laughs> as you can see, it's got a lot on there that you can do. Uh, but the main thing is that the main thing that I would be worried about is basically just being able to take this, um, take the sample. And when I have the sample, I can, um, I can, you know, apply it to the keyboard and record it, you know, wherever. But it's just a matter of actually finding what notes you can put it on. So, but, or like I said, or even if I didn't want to do that, maybe I didn't really want to do a sample. I can easily just take one of these. Yeah. there. Hey, my boy, my boy is in here. X dot E dot L dot O. Hey, you all, you definitely got to check out my boy's channel. So we had a, a great conversation uh, a while back. And uh, I hope you're feeling great, man. I, you know, I ain't seen you in a while, man. What's good, dude? Yeah, I know Complete Control is on here too as well. Um, you know, but to be honest, I don't even use samplers like that. You know, I really don't. Um, if I need, if I really wanted to sample this, I can do it, but... If I find that I can get this audio sounding great the way I want it to sound, what I would do is I would just take it and I would copy and paste it where I want it, which is kind of what I use with like splice and stuff. I just copy and paste it. But yeah, but the sampler does work. Uh, complete control. I got to get into using that because I just downloaded it again. I used to have it a long time ago, but it's like I haven't used this stuff in a while. Uh, I know SFX is on here too as well, which is another one that I think will work for this. Let's see if it comes up, because I haven't used that in a while either. Then I can just take that and load it, but we still don't hear nothing. There it is. I don't like the way it sounds, but so yeah, I can take it and record it like that if I wanted to. Yeah, so <laughs> sample is the hardest to get. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. But I like it so much. I really like it so much. Um, and it's funny because when I first downloaded it, I played with it for like 30 minutes, but that was like four months ago. And yeah, so now, but when, when you're looking at it, it's like looking at Egyptian or something or looking at another language, it's like, what? <laughs> can I zoom, can I zoom all the way in? So yeah, but it's, it's all good. I mean, um, so the easiest solution for this is. Record your audio. You can take that. You can split it, and you can just copy and paste it where you want it. Second option, you can take sample. You can do complete control, like X I uh, uh, like X here. Yeah. I'm gonna abbreviate your name for now, man. Let's <laughs> just go say X too. Like X said, you can do that. You can uh, use complete complete control. You can use uh, SFZ. That's free as well. The if you want to get in TX. I am going to make a video about it, but like I said, I got to dive way into it so I know how to use it. So I'm not looking like a fool like I was like five minutes ago. All right. But um, you definitely can do that, too, as well. But to me, like 
you know, the reason why I don't use samplers as much is because, um, I don't know. Like, for instance, if I take a splice sound and put it into a sampler, sometimes I notice that it loses the quality of the original sample. Uh, and it might be because it might be the the sample that I'm using, the sampler that I'm using, maybe the SFZ, like, you know, even with that finger snap, it didn't sound quite the same way. I could probably go in there and tweak it to make it sound better. Uh, but I feel like sometimes I end up u- losing the quality of it. So for me, it's easier because I, I know exactly what beats or what, you know, what ticks or what example I can just. Yeah, I know it has so much stuff in it. But, and like I said, it's a free software. The TX-16 is like, it's a free software. So um, you got to use it, you know, you got to use it. You got to figure it out. Um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not going to use it anytime soon, but I'm going to get into it. Not Maybe I'll make one one whole beat just, just using a sampler. Um, but yeah, man. X, what you been up to? Got them, got them, uh, them TV deals going on, man. You work working on them TV deals. Yeah. Working, working. How's the family doing? They all doing good. It's been a it's been a crazy time for me, man. Uh, my mother in law just got some more tracks accepted. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, man. Bring the money in, man. Bring the money, but make sure you save a little bit for us, though. Okay, that's good. I'm glad they're great, man. Yeah, I've been my my mother in law had a stroke um, some months ago, um, and you know she she recovered from that. Then she had another stroke like a week ago. And she came back home, and then that, it definitely changed her. And then two days later, she went right back in for another stroke. So now she's in the hospital, and they're doing uh, therapy, physical therapy, and stuff, trying to get her back together. And um, you know, it's been it's been troubling on our family, but something that we're trying to deal with. So, uh, word of wisdom out there, you all, you know, make sure that you watch your health, take to your loved ones. Um, you know, you got to work, I understand, but make sure that you spend as much time with your family as possible. It is, um, it is something that's very needed, especially if you got younger ones or even older ones, you know? Um, so anyway, but this is a groove that I came up with. Um, X, I don't know if I'm gonna finish it or not. You know, we talked about this before, man. You know, I start something, I don't finish it though. You know, I might finish it next year or something. But now this this particular uh, live beat 001 will only be worked on when I go live. So, um, but I will finish it eventually, um, as long as I keep going live. That is. Is there any other questions about anything? Okay. Well, anyway, all right. Let's move on from this. Um, let me save this real quick. So I was letting everyone know. That may be on here. Oh, my dad said good morning, son. Okay, I have to talk to him later. Um, we got a Just an Army and Musician Tips YouTuber group that I created, and we got a few people in there. So we're basically going to be sharing ideas, you know, a- answering questions, asking questions, and stuff like that, bringing up new ideas. Um, if you have not done so already, you should follow me, connect with me, you know, and I'll put it on up here too as well. But uh, this is my link tree and I'm starting to promote. I got to promote myself more because there's so many new changes that are getting ready to happen. Um, so I want to summertime you all. I'm hitting it hard. So you might see a video every day. I don't know. We'll see. You might see a video every day, uh, but there's going to be in different areas because I have a uh, songwriting and actually, I've been working on ideas, research, and i got a songwriting uh, series that I'm getting ready to start. And then I also have a vocal series I'm getting ready to start for Cakewalk. 
but um, but on here you can check out you know um, some of the platforms that I'm on. I've got a website. I had a website before, uh, but it was one of those things where I bought the website, bought the hosting, bought the domain, and I did editing on it for like one minute, and that was about it. <laughs> I didn't do anything on it. So it always said in construction. So, but now I have a new host. Uh, so I'm excited. So this is what it looks like so far. Uh, I still got some more work to do on it. Uh, you can catch me. I do what's called Sessions Live, which is a performing platform. And I told you about this X if you're still on here. I don't know if you're still on here or not, but um, you can catch me April 16th, tomorrow. Uh, I'll be there. Uh, Ooh, that's not the right time. Oh, yeah. Okay. 10 to, okay. It scared me for a second. It said 12 o'clock. 10 to 12. Yeah. I'll be on there from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. And there's this a digital, uh, this is digital festival showcase that's going on. It's been going on all of this month. So I'll be on there this uh this Saturday, next Saturday. Um, and I got to get back into performing more, but sessions is a great platform for those that are like looking to perform. Um, you can get on there. Actually, let me even show sessions real quick. So you all can kind of see what it's about. So yeah, sessions live. You can, this is actually the, the digital music news festival is what I'm performing for. I had to do it. I did it twice. And it, it's kind of like an event. Uh, basically where a lot of, you know, record labels, producers, they may tune in and trying to find talent and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not looking for it for that particular reason, but it's a great to perform. You get more exposure, things like that. But typically on this, you can perform as an artist whenever you want. Um, you can go live whenever you want. And the people that, you know, you see people all over the world, you know, they may tune in and then if they, you know, if they like you, if you sound good, whether you're singing or playing a saxophone or playing drums or whatever you're doing, um, they can tip you with what's called virtual love. So and the love converts to cash money um, through your account, basically. And they just rolled out a new feature for the mobile device. And I don't know if it's open for everybody, but I, I just kind of stumbled upon it, is that now that you can go live on your phone, uh, I think this is beta testing right now, so make sure that it works well, which is huge because normally you have to go through OBS and you have to, you know, they have their own, you know, platform. So you're on there and you can put in your like requests, like your song request and type it in and things like that. So I think that's really awesome. Um, so if you are a performer, but you're like, you know, hey, I'm not trying to go out and perform, do gigs because COVID or, or I just don't feel like going out, period. Then you can do it from the comfort of your home and still make you some money, you know. So I think it's a cool thing. So if you're interested in that, I definitely uh, put that in the description because if you sign up as an artist, it's free to sign up. But if you sign up as an artist, I think I get I think I get a commission or something like that, if I'm correct. Or something. I get something. Um, but, yeah, there's so many different platforms going on. Uh, there's, you know, there's artists performing 24-7 all around the world. So, um, and, you, and there's some really great artists on here that you can listen to and check out. Uh, they have national or international recording artists come through. Uh, I think uh, I want to say... Anthony Hamilton, I believe Anthony Hamilton just came through. If you're familiar with Anthony Hamilton, uh, just came through not too long ago. So um, cool, cool platform. All right, and let's see. Um, got my website. Also, I have. I'm starting my merchandise. So you all, if you you know you want to support, you definitely can support. Uh, I've got my motto, which is, I came, which came to me a long time ago. It's nothing unfamiliar, nothing difficult. It's expected. It's just the norm, All right? Basically, which means that whatever you put your mind to, if you're passionate about it, it should be something that you are familiar with. It should be something that's not difficult. It may not be easy to achieve like the goals that you want to achieve in that particular area that you're looking for, but it shouldn't be brain. I mean, it shouldn't be rocket science. It should be something that just comes naturally to you, you know, 
And it's if it's expected, that means that you were born to do it. You just know it's in you. It's it's like what your life is about. It's just a norm. So this is where my motto came from. Um, I you, I'm a digital artist, and this is actually for another YouTube channel. So I have four YouTube channels, um, and I don't really talk about that. I don't I don't really try to cross uh, promote my channels, but I have. Uh, a gaming channel, which I haven't really done much on. I put a few videos out, but I'm really going to get into that this summer too as well because I like playing games and I might as well record about playing games. So this is called Just a Vibe and I made this uh, in Adobe Illustrator. So I have this as a logo, but you can get that on the shirt if you wanted that. Uh, this is the same thing as this and I actually have, you can't really see it. Can't really see it because there's microphones in a way. But um, I have my shirt on. Now, when I designed this originally, I, you know, I wasn't thinking about the spacing. So this is the old version. This is more bolder, and I think this stands out a little bit more. So, um, but yeah, got that. I'm going to start putting more designs on here because um, I'm, I'm doing a lot of drawing lately. So definitely got to get that going then. All right. Um, hmm. No, guess anybody else has any other questions? All right, you all, we gonna we gonna stop right there. All right, if you enjoyed any of this, even the part where I decided to show you something that I know anything about, uh, <laughs> keep in mind I am human. I make mistakes and I don't know everything. But with the family of community of YouTubers and people that I come across, especially like x.e.l.o uh, between all of us you know, we can share our information and we can share our knowledge and hopefully help you create your projects and get them out to the world all right i love you all take care adios